the leopard managed to quietly approach the wildebeests, who had relaxed to the point of lying on the ground. The predator fat itself right in front of its prey, but its sudden leap caught them off guard. The antelopes instinctively scattered instead of collectively overpowering the lone predator. Yet this was only the first part of the leopard's victory. The crucial part was to catch the fleeing antelope and overcome it. The wildebeest was three times heavier than the leopard, but the predator invested its entire weight in the strike, knocking down the hoofed animal and swiftly grabbing it by the throat. The herbivore tried to defend itself, but the leopard threw its prey over itself like a martial arts master, then finished it with a choking move. The remaining antelopes scattered in shock. Today we will show you other instances in which leopards triumphed in seemingly challenging and unequal confrontations. The leopard decided to rest amid dense thickets. Hyenas tracked him, wanting to attack and tear apart their competitor. They pursued the panther by scent, discovered the approximate location of the enemy, and cautiously approached it. However, the hyenas didn't know what they were getting themselves into. Trying to sneak up on the leopard was foolish. The panther noticed the enemies from afar and easily outsmarted them. The leopard discreetly left the spot where it was lying, leaving behind crumpled leaves, branches, and grass. But it didn't intend to retreat far. The predator wanted to teach the audacious hyenas a lesson. One of them found the place where the leopard had just rested, but didn't notice anyone and walked past. Meanwhile, the cunning cat hid in the dense foliage, invisibly observing the enemy. Then the leopard fiercely attacked the hyena, delivering a devastating blow. The scuffle was brief, since there were two scavengers, and the leopard had to retreat. However, the panther's claws on the hyena's face would be remembered for a long time. The leopard moved so swiftly and skillfully that it seemed elusive like the wind. Just as it dealt with blows the hyena, the spotted cat was already at the top of a tree, unreachable for the fangs of bewildered enemies. They received an unforgettable lesson. The leopard is a versatile fighter and not picky when it comes to choosing prey. If the target is made of meat, then the leopard's up for it. So alongside various hoofed animals, these panthers also hunt small primates. Usually, these tailed monkeys feel safe in the tree crowns. However, the leopard is simultaneously large enough to easily deal with any of them and agile enough to catch up. The panther literally races through the trees, seemingly defying gravity, and swiftly leaps from branch to branch. But this little monkey right here considers itself elusive due to its small size. It is an adolescent that has learned absolutely everything its parents could teach. The primate is fast, agile, and adept at climbing, disappearing among the leaves. However, its small size makes it lightweight, and catching such a small target is extremely challenging. However, the primate didn't know what it was dealing with. The leopard chased its prey, clearly having fun. Right before the helpless parent's size of the confident primate, the panther shortens this distance and nearly catches it. Yet the little monkey makes a sharp and incredibly fast jump straight up from a branch. This jump was supposed to save it and take it far from the enemy. But the leopard caught the prey right in midair. This cat could perform as a magician in Las Vegas or Cirque du Soleil. The agility of its paws, or rather claws, could make Houdini jealous. The leopard had a fleeting moment, but in slow motion, it becomes clear with such elegance and ease, it seized the primate with its curved, razor-sharp claws. Certainly what followed can't really be called a struggle. The leopard simply broke the prey's body as if it were a worn-out toy and began devouring its snack. In terms of satisfaction, for the predator, the primate was like a bag of chips for an adult man. But now, the leopard can similarly entertain itself by pursuing the primate's tailed parents. 
Here, the leopard climbs a tree and starts behaving strangely. Why would a carnivorous beast start biting the bark on a trunk? Pretty odd behavior, isn't it? But no, it turns out that the panther didn't even decide to diversify its diet with plants, but discovered an owl's nest. The little bird tried to escape, but the leopard swiftly grabbed the second one and crushed it in its jaws. The panther's bite shattered the bird's bones, and the cat enjoyed a hearty lunch. If there's no tall tree nearby, it won't stop the leopard from defending its prey. Here, the panther is having its meal when it's discovered by a lone hyena. The scavenger arrived without clan support, already simplifying the spotted cat's resolution of issues with an old enemy. However, the hyena is larger than the female leopard, more massive and stronger. It approaches head-on, but doesn't know it's dealing with a clever predator. The leopard doesn't intend to run, abandoning its meal. The cat cunningly moves the meat closer to the thickets, securing its flank and rear. The crucial aspect is a plant hanging low, right above the panther. Hence, the hyena can't use the advantage of height to swoop down on the opponent from above and up front. The hyena has to crouch, bend low, and fold its legs. The agile leopard has no trouble fighting even in such conditions, unlike the clumsy scavenger. The hyena tries to grab the enemy with intimidating jaws, but its movements are restricted. The leopard delivers a couple of painful blows, slashes the rubber's face with its claws, and lets the enemy know that there's no food for it here. All the hyena can expect here is pain and new wounds. The scavenger retreats, and the female leopard calmly continues her meal. This case might seem frightening at first, but it looks comical in reality. A hyena approaches the leopard to provoke it and lure it into a trap. The scavenger thinks it can scare the predator, engage it in a fight, and then its kin can come running to surround the panther. However, the powerful, formidable, and proud leopard completely ignores the opponent, and the hyena is bewildered. Usually, its mere presence is enough to make other animals nervous. But the leopard understands that a lone hyena poses no special threat to it. By ignoring it, the panther expresses maximum contempt for the scavenger. The hyena has to retreat. The provocation failed. It seems like it now has some complexes. Leopards have earned a stable reputation as the most ruthless panthers. Lions pursue any other predators in their territory. Tigers attack the largest and most powerful beasts in their range. Jaguars handle their prey more brutally, breaking occipital bones and crushing cervical vertebrae instead of the usual panther's silent strangulation. But legends circulate only about leopards hunting for entertainment. Can you believe that? Then how about this story? A nimble female leopard attacks some baboons. These large and aggressive group living primates are a much more challenging prey than it might seem at first glance. They often unite and defend their territory against various predators, but tangling with a leopard was a mistake. The female leopard swiftly pounced on one of them, knocked it to the ground, and quickly crushed its trachea with its powerful jaws. Then she dragged the prey onto a tree in plain view of the astonished troop of monkeys who neither had the time nor the courage to do anything. But the leopard here received an unexpected bonus. The baboon turned out to be a female nurturing her offspring. The little one had been clinging to its mother's fur, and the leopard carried it up the tree along with its prey. Such a nice complimentary snack to the main chorus, isn't it? It turns out no. The leopard noticed the little monkey, but instead of swiftly breaking its neck, started playing and licking the unfamiliar infant. The predator took the brace carcass higher up the tree, leaving the infant below. The panther had just ruthlessly and quickly dealt with the baby's mother, but the little one just doesn't understand that. 
At first, it fears the huge predator and tries to freeze in place. However, the female leopard lies down next to it, licks it, and amuses itself. It looks like a cruel cat playing with a mouse. Suddenly, under the tree, a hungry hyena appears. The adult female baboon rests high in the tree. The hyena would appreciate a little monkey as a treat. And then, the leopard does something unexpected. First, the cat takes the little primate higher to a safe place, and then returns, looming over the hyena. The panther frightens the competitor with a menacing roar, forcing the scavenger to retreat. Is it protecting its trophy or genuinely caring for the baby? What do you think? After repelling the scavenger, the leopard returns to the little primate. The games continue. The baby monkey stops fearing the leopard, and the panther licks, strokes, warms, and even removes it from a high branch when it sees the baby might fall and get hurt. It seems like the bloodthirsty leopard has no intention of eating this little one, and it genuinely demonstrates care for it. Of course, the little baboon can only survive by returning to its own troop. The female leopard can't care for it long. Still, her sympathy for another's baby is pleasantly surprising, right? Admit it. This behavior definitely deserves your life. A massive herd of wildebeests can pose a serious threat even to pack-hunting predators like lions or hyenas. But even they try to spook the herbivores, inducing panic, making them run, and then pouncing on one animal. But the leopard operates by its own rules. The brave predator leaped from the height of the second floor right into the center of the wildebeest herd. The hoofed animals were clueless, and this predator's appearance became a true embodiment of their nightmares. But even in a panic, they could have trampled the leopard. The confident and incredibly agile predator took a great risk here. Surprisingly, its tactics proved successful. With one powerful strike, the leopard brought down its prey. Usually, an adult wildebeest is challenging catch for a leopard due to the size difference, as their hooves are two and a half times more massive. But thanks to the help of gravity, the leopard not only invested its entire weight into the attack, but also gained acceleration from the fall. With its sudden appearance, this predator forced the other herbivores to scatter in different directions, as if ripples spread from a thrown stone. The power of the crushing blow was so impressive that the fallen antelope didn't even resist. It seems its spine was simply broken. A remarkable feat was performed, concluding with the triumph of the panther. The muscular leopard prowled in search of food. Confident, yet far from relaxed, it remained prepared for any danger. A lioness noticed the spotted panther and decided to attack the contender. Positioned directly in front of the leopard, she slowly approached to launch herself at the spotted panther at the decisive moment and strangle it. The lioness had a significant advantage in mass and strength. She was about one and a half times larger than the leopard, so she had no fear of a fight. But the crucial thing here was the insurance she had, which you will see shortly. The leopard notices the lioness. Sneaking up on this ambush master? <laughs> that was a foolish idea, especially from the front. The positioning of eyes in front of the skull gives predators binocular vision. Thanks to this, they can see details well, react to movement, estimate distance and depth. However, the leopard does something nobody expects. Even though it clearly sees a dangerous enemy, instead of fleeing, the predator continues to approach the lioness head on. Why? Does it really want to fight a stronger opponent? No. The cunning leopard wants to teach the opponent a lesson differently. At the crucial moment, the leopard takes off running. It optimally chooses a risky trajectory, not allowing the lioness to close the distance quickly, but not getting too far away either. The leopard wants to show the opponent who is the most agile and fast here. So it races past her, tearing through the distance. Did the leopard manage to outwit such a formidable foe? It's not that simple. It was a trap. The lioness lured the proud leopard right into the clutches of a mighty male lion. 
the lion wouldn't have been able to get so close to the leopard due to its impressive size and mane. It is almost three times larger than the foe. But now, the male is ready to pounce and break the opponent's neck. The lions didn't know who they were dealing with. Just as they had a backup plan, the leopard had escape routes too. He spotted a tall and thin tree in advance, so at the last moment, he literally flew onto its top right in front of the bewildered lion. Larger panthers can climb trees too, but this trunk is too thin for them. The leopard feels safe, having outsmarted the cunning lions, escaped from larger enemies who outnumbered it, and made them expend their energy on a futile chase. He also made his enemies waste their energy on a chase that meant nothing. One distinctive quality of leopards is their incredible agility to intensely focus on prey. The panther's remarkable concentration lets it react instantly to changes in the environment. Moreover, the leopard, with its focus, can adjust its movements with jeweler's precision to match the preys, like herbivores. When the target makes the slightest head movement, the panther freezes to avoid suspicion. As soon as the potential prey turns its back, the leopard moves forward, doing so cautiously and silently. However, there's one caveat. When the predator concentrates so much on the prey, it almost disconnects from any irritants around, not seeing or hearing what's happening nearby. The second leopard decided to take advantage of this and prank its mate. It sneakily approached, occasionally observing the mate's reactions. The leopard focused on the victim completely failed to notice the other predator's approach. The second leopard doesn't seem particularly aggressive. It observes the hunter with curiosity rather than sneaking to engage in a confrontation. But when the spotted stalker got too close, the first leopard noticed him. Can you imagine his shock here? The pursuing leopard didn't know who he was dealing with. The predator, whose hunt had just been ruined, wasn't thrilled about being spied on by a fellow. An impressive but brief battle ensues. The leopards clash in the air, striking each other with their paws and landing on the ground, quickly disappearing into the thickets. Pay attention to the leopard's precise movements. It's as if it's playing with the potential prey. The moment the boar twitches slightly, the leopard springs into action. The panther waits for the perfect moment to attack. It approaches the target so slowly and smoothly that it's almost imperceptible. But if the boar exposes the predator and charges forward, the leopard is ready to immediately chase after it to catch the opponent. Meanwhile, as this hasn't happened yet, the leopard continues its play. It leans over the boar. It seems like the warthog should already feel the panther's breath on its neck. Surprisingly enough, the herbivore still seems unsure that it's being watched, although it clearly senses it. The situation is incredibly tense, but at the decisive moment, the leopard makes a powerful leap down and pounces on the board just as it tries to escape. The battling adversaries roll down the slope, raising clouds of dust, and their roars echo across the savanna. Turns out, besides the largest boar, there was another, likely a female. She escaped, but in the depths of the dust cloud, the fight continues. The warthog tries to rip apart the enemy's skin with its curved tusks. The boar has a powerful neck, tough skin, and in terms of aggression, a cornered beast can outmatch anyone. However, in response, the leopard reacts with precise and calculated movements. It doesn't rush. And when the dust settles, it becomes clear who won. The leopard has crushed the opponent, immobilized it in front of the onlookers, and grabbed its throat in a way that renders the warthog's weaponry useless. For a while, it strangles the prey, but then it surrenders, and the predator just breaks its trachea. The leopard is victorious. 
If you think this spotted predator is incapable of success in the chase, then you're mistaken. It turns out it can not only camouflage for a strike at super close range, but also swiftly run after prey, like a clawed lightning. However, in terms of endurance, felines always yield to canines. They can deliver an impressive result in terms of speed and striking power, but it happens quickly, in a sort of here-and-now fashion. The leopard is aware of this characteristic trait, so when the boar starts fleeing, the panther immediately accelerates and puts maximum effort into a short pursuit. Everything is decided in seconds. If the warthog manages to break free for these few dozen of a hundred yards, from several dozen or hundred meters, the leopard will abandon the chase as it will tire out too much. However, underestimating the speed of the panther and its determination would be a mistake. The leopard raced after the opponent with astonishing speed, and even the camera couldn't capture the moment of the strike. But we see the outcome. The leopard knocked the enemy off its feet and seized it by the throat. Usually, a cat continues to strangle the prey, caught for some time, but this time the panther was fortunate. The bite was precise, and the fangs ruptured major blood vessels. Now, the boar certainly won't escape. The leopard has a well-deserved reputation as the master of camouflage, shots of how it sneaks up on its prey within the distance of a jump and sometimes ends up right next to an unsuspecting herbivore are impressive. But even the camera couldn't capture the predator's feet this time. Somehow, it infiltrated the very center of the herd of wildebeests. Not a single hoofed creature noticed it and sounded the alarm to the others, even by breaking into the run. So why such complexity? For a worthy goal! The leopard pounced on a young wildebeest right in the middle of the herd. Several dozen hoofed animals instantly bolted. For them, the leopard's appearance looks like teleportation. They are shocked and didn't expect the predator to just appear amongst them and target one of the possible preys. Probably, the young herbivore assumed that when surrounded by larger kin, there's nothing to fear. And this was a mistake. The leopard has enough courage to attack the target even when huge and frightened wildebeests rush by. The panther doesn't attempt to overpower the opponent. It doesn't strike or waste energy unnecessarily. It calmly stands and simply strangles the wildebeest, which is unable to break free, even though it has all four hooves on the ground. In these circumstances, it's the ideal tactic because panicking wildebeests could knock down or trample the leopard if maneuvered or engaged in a struggle. Instead, the clever predator gradually strangles the prey right in front of its skin. Despite its young age, the wildebeest's mass is approximately the same as that of the predator, but the leopard's grip is way too strong. Gradually, the wildebeest tires, and with each passing second, it becomes harder to resist since breathing is almost impossible and energy is dwindling. Finally, the leopard topples the opponent to the ground, expending much less effort than if it were to have engaged in a prolonged duel. Perhaps the wildebeest still hopes to deceive the enemy and pretend to be defeated, but you can't really fool the leopard so easily. It firmly reinforces its grip until it realizes that the prey is truly defeated. And not a single adult hoofed creature dared to attack the leopard and try to rescue its kin. Which of today's scenarios in which a leopard demonstrated its amazing capabilities surprised you the most? Let us know your impressions in the comments below this video, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That way we'll be able to see each other much more often.